You've probably never heard of an H engine, but you'll be pleasantly surprised to see that they live up to their name by looking exactly like the letter H, unlike modern W's. Oh, hell no, man. Anyways, the H engine wasn't a one and done ordeal. We didn't just do silly little H4s or H6s, we went all the way up to H24s for planes and even tried cramming an H16 into tiny little race cars. So where are H engines now and why did we stop making them? Unfortunately, they were very complex to manufacture and they also weren't easily turbo or supercharged. So as V engines and W engines became more commonplace, if you wanted something that was comparably compact, they just made infinitely more sense from a power to weight and production cost standpoint. The H engine does the job of a role that we no longer need filling. Much like the rotary, the H engine was a necessary casualty of innovation. It did leave a very lovely parting gift.